Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Barboa run. Damn right, we're trying to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty with only rookies. And it is time for episode number 3 where we've received a secure transmission for Operation Furious Omen, which hopefully is not a negative omen. Uh, we need to win this. Uh, scientist is absolutely mandatory. The 92 Intel are great as well. And as a bonus, I'm going to rescue inappropriate Murphy. I would potentially not rescue the specialist, mainly because I don't want uh, always uh, an increasing number of of um, of soldiers in our roster. That will reduce the chance of getting more rookies and um, other rewards. So I'll try to keep it light. Uh, Ronan is the only one that we're trying to rescue. Today in the mission, we got two completely new rookies. Taurus here um, is going to make her debut. We got Wilson II, an English gentleman out of uh, a noble bloodline, who ended up being at the wrong um, place at the wrong time, needed to emigrate to the United States, and then uh, lived in the streets for a while before uh, then joining XCOM. We got A. Aaron, and <laughs> if you've ever seen uh, the skit around A. Aaron. If you don't know what I'm talking about, YouTube is your friend. There is a fantastic uh, humor a humorous video about the pronunciation of names in the black community in America. That's a great skit. So um, A. Aaron is going to join us uh, inappropriately uh, clothed as always. And Hungry Shadows, of course, the guy with just one eye uh, but a big fat uh, cigar. An ex, uh, I would say, smuggler potentially ended up uh, to work for Greenpeace at some point before the invasion and then joined XCOM. Anyways, enough of uh, the background stories. This is the team that we have to deal with. And uh, we gave Wilson the L, uh, the um, weapon from the DLC and A. Aaron um, gets the stuttering uh, advanced hair trigger weapon. Hopefully we're going to see some hair triggers. Take care and see you on the mission, guys. Good time to land and time to fight a lot of losses. As always, the engine stutters when you're landing for whatever reason. But yeah, we're up against the lost and the lost only. Let's take a good look here. Good. We got to get the target and two, four, five. That could be either of them. Sniper and specialist both have the same hit point progression. So we never know which way inappropriate Murphy is going to be. For now we're concealed. Oh, look at that. We even got some company. That makes it more interesting. All the more interesting. It's not a timed mission, so might as well take our sweet merry time here. Uh, we definitely got some high ground, but we are, equally speaking, trapped. Seventy-two per uh, percent. Are we going to use grenades? Is the question to, to trigger some of the losses. Well, I can tell you that much. Like I said, it's not a timed mission. Might as well position ourselves a bit better. This here gives us plenty of potential angles for for flanking position. And we just got spotted via here, which triggers the whole Overwatch trap. 
and afterwards we're getting a full extra turn. All right. Of course, it wouldn't be a lost map if we would not trigger a few losts right away. Humans, it appears the alien devices dropped during the first Rawr. had a degenerative effect on these citizens, causing their physical and mental health to rapidly decay while maintaining primitive organic function. Approach with caution, Commander. Yeah, we're approaching with caution, but also with high ground and a lot of ammunition. Good, moving up there. Moving out. We're moving in here. <laughs> that was a nice little hit. Wilson the second, what are we going to do with you, sir? Good, sir. Please move up. And a Aaron moves up as well. And finally, Wilson just overwatches. Gotta deal with the lost in a calm and collected fashion. The thing that typically will kill you at the very beginning is if you are trying to take shots at them whilst not being safe that you can actually kill them hit reload and let's try another hit good that was the exact correct order hit reload overwatch and just getting up here. Reload Overwatch. Yeah, this guy will soon die in a hail of bullets. Well, they are not that sensitive to noise. Normal gunfire doesn't do anything, Bradford. As per the usual, you are ill-informed, my friend. Enemy destroyed. Good. Moving over. And as a team, we are going to move up. Sticking really with the high ground. On my way. And reloading. Another mistake that I'm commonly seeing when I'm watching other streamers and YouTubers is they forgot to reload well in advance. Which then costs them quite a bit of time later down the road. Well, that's a horde. That's a big, fat, massive horde. I can tell you what we're going to do. We're going to block the entrance and trigger the rest of the map. Okay, bring it on. Bring it on. First things first. That dasher here needs to die. Good, because we don't want extra enemies. Down. 
All right, Wilson is definitely on a rampage. Hungry Shadows moves up. And yeah, we're pulling some more loss. By the way, there is some Advent <laughs> standing right there. Being like, yeah, it's normal. Okay, they might be coming through here. But we can could prevent that from happening. Sort of. And Aaron is charging up as well. There is this extra entrance uh, to the back, which they may be using to get up. But honestly speaking, now that now it becomes more and more of a target-rich environment. Okay, well, they found their way inside. That's unfortunate. Oh, melee vulnerability, dude, you are screwed. A Aaron with the dashers. That's one down. And the 85% shot that missed. Iggy. Moves up. <sighs> really unfortunate because I... Definitely wanted to block the entrance. Good, moving to here. Killing this guy and then blocking the ladder. Which is really, really important. Of course, pulling another pack in uh, the meantime. We got a full party waiting to happen. Lots of lots and a trooper. Hmm. Well, I mean, the loss can't really reach us, right? So I am thinking about whether or not I want to deal some some damage down there and speed up the process for more losses. Can't really kill the uh, uh, the advent there. I think I will. Reloading to optimize our action economy and more loss will be helpful as they are providing plenty or uh, plentiful targets for Advent. Okay, gotta deal with uh, the sector. Mind control is a problem. He will likely die. He will be remembered as the guy who stood his ground, not taking shit from anyone.
Yep. Stood his ground, not taking shit from anyone. Good. Apparently we can't see the sector for whatever artificial reason. Does not prevent us from absolutely murdering him. First things first. Let's get rid of a couple of dashers. Good, I just want the dashers down for now. Because they are quick. They are very quick. There was another pack here. Which I think we have aggroed. But for some reason it has not started to engage on us. Got a few losses. Let's get the ones. <laughs> okay, 96% miss. Well done. Well, gotta congratulate him. At least he is consistent in in his choice of actions. Well, that gets rid of the Overwatch, but we still have a significant lost problem. Uh, anyone for that sector over there and maybe hitting him? No, okay. Problem that I'm seeing is can't really deal with any of that at the moment. Moving back. Try to hit uh, the only really available target. Oh, that's a good shot. But we're too far away. No, we're not too far away. Hmm. That's a problem. It is a problem on many levels, mainly the loss coming up to us. Good, Wilson. Got to deal with the dead. Oh, wow. Well, another 90% shot missed. Well, I might as well position him here. Enemy destroyed. Good. Those losses are better targets, so I hope that the AI will, tri uh, will target them instead of us. Again, unfortunate that we couldn't finish uh, them. Luckily for us, they are really going for those extra targets. Uh, the moment that they killed the first one, the rest is up for grabs, so... Oh yeah, okay. Well, they did not manage uh, the ammunition very well. The moment that the AI typically kills the first enemy, 
Um, then they will switch to XCOM. Okay, a couple of hits on that sector, please. Zero hits. Oh boy. Okay, Igor here. Look, we got a problem with the loss, okay? I mean, that's obvious. There are no two ways about it. And it certainly doesn't help that we're missing 97, 98% shots. Good, more losses are going. Specifically the dashers. That's good. And this should be a kill. Very nice. Good, one more round of mind control. Still a target rich environment, so we should be fine. As long as she keeps on hitting, we have a problem. Okay, well, luckily she's still a rookie. See, that's a good thing if uh, someone controls your rookies. Doesn't mean all too much because they are still rookies at the end of the day. There we go. Melee vulnerability. Finally, someone strikes some sense into that bold headed uh, menace of XCOM. I wish we had a way to remove cover, which we do. Moving to designated coordinates. This is blocking all of uh, these pesky idiots. And then one thing that I was hoping for it, yeah, does it work? Look, it's again one of those really weird positions, right? Where it shouldn't work. But then the game somehow decides that the grenade can go through walls. Come on, we know that grenades can fly through walls. There we go, that's it. Told you, just gotta believe hard enough in it. Eighty-five percent shot failed. And of course, that one chest there is in the way. Good, we're going to reload first. Five percent dasher kill. Yes, please. 100% lost kill. Yes, please. 
And whilst we're at it, let's get that sectored. Okay. Rock solid position up here. got a rock solid position up here and if we are playing our cards right we might even be able to get that loot and all of this action happened without the single uh, rescue of the actual VIP what do we have laser side well Scope would be the right answer, but laser side somewhat works as well, I suppose. I'm all over it. Moving over because we gotta get that VIP soon. And look at him in all of his uh, inappropriateness and glory. Short trousers, zebra stripes, just like a pro. But this here will prevent anyone from moving up to us. And we have a good line of sight against this lost a brute. We will get him. And of course, another swarm appears. Funnily enough, we got quite a few kills here. So these rookies are doing an admirable job. It's the 90%. It's, that can happen. Positioning ourselves on that other ladder. Mainly to prevent anyone from coming here. Good. Aaron finally gets us the primary target, aka our VIP. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get that context to the evac point. Don't wet your little pants. We're going to see some more action as even more losses appear. But thankfully for us, we do have indeed a rock solid position but also quite a few enemies going to take the high ground up here for sure as we're traversing yeah not a big fan of additional explosions i think we have already figured out that that's a bad idea This time the 90% was a solid hit. No longer a threat. Iggy here goes to town. Nah, I'll just reload. Rather reload and have a few more shots next turn. One dasher down, thousands to go. Enemy down. Gonna need to reload soon. 
regular reloads so that we're not completely out of ammunition. And quite a few minimum damage shots, but that's to be expected. Luckily, with our little container play here, Losts have no choice. Good time to get close and personal. Hey, Aaron. Clears the whole left flank. But misses on his last all important shot. Luckily, Wilson with the sniper is right here to pick up the slack. Good. Now that we have killed approximately 5 million of uh, these buggers. In app is short for inappropriate. Because there was inappropriate was so inappropriate that you can't call sign someone inappropriate. I learned that when creating inappropriate Murphy. Can't believe that that guy becomes maybe even a representative of my XCOM runs. That would be. Hilarious and sad at the same time. Someone like Hawkbird, you know, I mean, I can get fully behind the fact uh, that he would be the associated figure or main character. But inappropriate Murphy? Never. Let me know in the comments down below if you had a favorite character, of course, other than yours of the XCOM runs that you have uh, mm, that you have watched so far what would that character be or who would that character be rather wow that is a stupid amount of losses kidding me Moving to block the ramp. Inappropriate uh, Murphy can do only movements. That's kind of the concession here. We want to save him. He cannot use any of his gear at all. And this is actually a quite helpful position that you guys have decided to take. Aaron agrees and that's a four for one All right, moving up. Let's kill that dasher. Okay, that's good. Killing another loss down there. And let's hopefully kill this dasher. Thank you. That worked well. And we're reloading. Confirmed. 
Good. Moving up. Time to kill some more losts. Okay, they shamefully hide in the corner. Affirmative. Moving out. Heading out. Go, go, go. Thought of pure seed as inappropriate. Ma yeah, he could make it out. Okay. So next turn. We are going to flee. Hunker down. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. Time to evac. We don't need experience. We just need to get out of here. Commander, we should get the rest of our people to the extraction point as soon as possible. The longer we wait around, the worse our chances look. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Well, fantastic. We killed 64 enemies in that one mission and didn't take a single hit. Okay, we got four promotions, which we cannot take. And we got a laser sight. And we got a scientist, which is the most important part. And we got an inappropriate Murphy. So, I mean, you got to give the guy credit, okay? If you ever um, were thinking about that uncle that grew up in a white trash trailer uh, compound and uh, almost lost his uh, hair, it's not very successful with the, uh, with the ladies, but always is that little bit like creepy on a party. That is what inappropriate Murphy would be. Has that five o'clock shadow, smokes, had bad, has bad teeth, and the 1980s uh, piercing, uh, which used to be cool and he somewhat still clings on to it. Mid 40s, gives you the twinky eye, and you're like, ooh. Well, that's inappropriate Murphy in a nutshell. But he's a good guy, just very inappropriate. Let's move on. Um, the scientist automatically works, and as long as we don't have a laboratory, we can't deploy them. More rookies is uh, not too bad. I think we could get those, but let's get these supplies first. The rookies are actually quite helpful because we will need a deep talent pool, and this is three for one, so that's like 60 um 60 dollars or 60 credits worth of rookies good we got proving ground and that's what we need it's got an inspired hybrid material so why not take it that's good one more day until the alien debris uh, will be ready to go See, there is the hundred. Now we don't need a uh, we don't need uh, a power relay yet, but the proving ground definitely would help. So that would be the first one, 125. So we need to wait until the supplies come in. But proving ground would be helpful, and resistance rings certainly would be helpful as well. In the meantime, let's continue our excavation here. It will take some more time, but overall it will be more efficient and we don't immediately need uh, the buildings. The buildings can build by themselves, but the excava getting that excavation done faster 
will be helpful. 55 resources is great. That would also not be bad uh, because we would get permanent uh, supplies. It's actually a really good bonus, specifically at the beginning of a campaign. So I would go for Proving Ground. Suppose that's a better choice. And the next one would be Resistance Ring. So we're up for a fast start. Uh, not the fastest, like in terms of building, but kind of an ex expendory uh, um, uh, start. And let's get that extra increased regional income. Soon, I think the first terror mission should kick in, and that's also where the rubber hits the road, because we're going to see likely uh, the assassin. Gotta say, I'm not looking forward uh, to that at all. Resistance communications could be helpful uh, to uh, to effectively broaden our network. We still have 42 days on magnetic weapons. Let's get the resistance communication quick because that's helpful. And then afterwards, it's magnetic weapons time. Then afterwards, it's magnetic weapons time. Nothing on the local comms. Well, guess what? That is exactly what I was predicting. Uh, we're having a nice retaliation mission here. Now that's going to be a banger of a mission because we're going in with four rookies. That's not going to be an easy mission at all. However, looking at the depth of our roster, we can spare a couple of uh, rookies. I'm going to go in with Russ and Bastard because they already have uh, the bond mate and that might just give us a little edge. But there are a few rookies that haven't even seen a promotion and that for sure cannot be allowed. Uh, so we want more rookies um, in the field of action. Terms of in terms of memorial, we're doing relatively well. Only Wurtz had been killed so far, and has received the official badge of shame on gate gate crasher. But uh, if you only do gate crasher with three, it's a bit more difficult. You might want to try it yourself. It's actually quite fun. Good. Uh, that's the end of today's episode, I would expect. Uh, very soon our supply drop will hit, which will give us a nice infusion of extra supplies that we can use in order to get the resistance ring going and uh, some equipment. I don't think that for $25 we're, we're going to build anything. No. In terms of supplies, yeah, the flashbang would be nice. And we're, we're eventually going to get one, but the grenades for now are fun, uh, fine as well, because we need to remove cover, so that is good. The one thing that is missing is that second slot, which we're going to get uh, sooner than later when we do have Predator armor. But one thing after the other, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First of all, let's uh, survive the first few months. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy Rocky Balboa, uh, punching above your weight class, then leave a comment and a like down below and see you in two days. Bye-bye.